Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba. Today I'm going to brief you on uh, Tecla Structural Designer 2017. This is all about how to create uh, grid lines for your model and how to set up your preferred settings for your model. And also other things which Tecla Structural Designer can do or capable of, do, uh, capable of doing. And please note that Tecla uh, Tecla Structural Designer is a structural analysis software, but it is as uh, capable of handling some uh, bit of modeling apart from uh, analysis. Okay, from here, once you've gone to 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 Tecla Structural Designer on your desktop and double click and open the icon, you will get a window of uh, of this kind. Now, from here, once you've double clicked on your icon like here it's here then I'll come back you'll, you'll get a window similar to this now once you have this and you want to create maybe a new model or you want to start whatever you want to do just come straight here on new click on that and wait for the for the software to load everything now once you've clicked on a new project you'll have this this structure under this under the structure and uh, we have now this icon for load analysis and this one for also analysis now for now we want to work on modeling then uh, structural analysis i think we'll do on the next presentation and you'll remember you all will note that th the moment you've clicked new you have two tabs here you'll have structural structure 3d and uh, uh, base 2d now uh, these two will help you to juggle between a 2d presentation and a 3d model of your of your structure or, or any kind of any, any kind of a model you are doing now from here i want just to show you on how to create grid and uh, to set up your model settings or uh, you, to customize your own settings from here we'll go straight to model settings right there now you will get a window like this now from here under model settings you will have all these units under design codes references drawings loading grouping all those and what we want here is just to set up whichever thing we think is very important for whatever we will be doing or or modeling now i'll start with units the moment i click units the system has this metric and uh, us customary now under us customary you can customize whichever units you want if you click that you'll have all this imperial and under metric you'll have all this but using the U, U, the uk standard we prefer using the metric now under metric we'll have this you'll be able to choose to use millimeters which is bit preferred and uh, you go ahead and uh, do the same thing but the moment you've clicked metric, everything will will pick, will go the similar way. I've clicked uh, metric, and I'll just come here and click save, and uh, click yes, and go ahead and click OK. Now my model settings is in millimeters. Now if I come to material here and click material. I want to use what sections I want to use the metric the UK um, I, I know I need United Kingdom uh, BS standards material steel that under that I need the BS UK and under here you can see oh, you have Australia India Ireland Malaysia all these you choose the standard that suits you I'll pick which I've already picked 
the UK or BS standards. The reinforcements, I'll pick the same thing, the BS. And uh, bars, I'll just use loose bars. And under bars, we have all these sizes available. 8, 10, 12, 16, 20, 25, 32, and 40. These are the standards available under BS standard. Now, these, I think, are okay to move on. The rib type you can pick here. We have plain, type 1, type 2. We'll, we'll work with type 2 and we'll just go ahead and, cl and click close. That has been set up. Now, from here, we want to just move straight to model. Under model, we want to create our grid lines. We'll come to rectangular wizard. I'll click on that. And we'll have this. And what I'll do, I've, uh, I've just jumped a step ahead, which is not right. I'll cancel that and come to, I'll come back to, to model. Under model, let's move forward here. Settings. I'll, that is UK. Under settings, you, you'll note that UK settings are active. We'll, we'll say OK. Now we have our levels here, which we want now to, to set up. We'll come there and we go straight to construction levels. We'll click on that. Now under construction levels, under model, we want to create our levels. We have top of foundation, which is TOF. We want that to start from 00, zero level. Now we want to, to introduce top of top of, uh, I mean, uh, structural, uh, uh, steel structural level. We'll introduce that. Now we'll go ahead and uh, insert it above. Now on this, we want to put here structural slab or, stru or, or, or uh, I mean structural slab level there and we need a height of three meters. Remember this is in, milli in, in meters here. So you just enter three meters or whichever height that is not beyond 2.5. That is not below 2.5 I mean. Now I'll go ahead and start inserting these slabs on top of each or on top of each other i'll just go ahead and click insert the moment i click insert you see this is uh, from three it increased to six and i go ahead and just insert increase to nine and i go ahead and insert increase to 12 i need five of them i'll just go ahead and click that the moment i'm okay with it remember top of foundation is zero the 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 the, the ground floor height is that the following is that and up to 15 meters high now i'll go ahead and click ok i'm comfortable with that from there i'll go to 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 grid line creation under 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 grid, uh, grid line creation just click that drop down arrow and come to rectangular though we have variety we have this which i'll show you in several models that i'll, I'll be uploading under this channel just keep watching and you'll be, you'll be able to learn a lot about the structural design. Now, for now, I just, it's just a briefing on how to use Tecla Structural Designer. Now, we'll go ahead to Tecla Structural, uh, I mean, Rectangular Wizard and click on that. From here, on this dialog box, we'll have Rectangular Grid Wizard. We have X and Y axis, both in meters. Now from here, don't hesitate, just go ahead and click next. And on the next uh, dialog box, we have X direction line only and Y direction line only. Line styles uh, here, but we want a dashed dots. We'll go ahead and click next. 
Now from here, I'll, uh, instead of using regular, I'll use irregular length because my lengths vary. Now under x direction, note this, we have x and y axis. Now we are starting with x axis. Now we'll enter the, the dimensions along the x axis here, but we'll just feed in, in meters and separate them with the commas. Now I'll click on that on that box and uh, start feeding my lengths. My length, re remember on Tecla you start with zero zero, but this one you start straight to your at utmost height. Now I'll start with six. Just check here, it has opened up to six meters. I'll separate that with comma and type another six meters. I'll type another comma and type three meters. Just check, look at here, this three, this six, this six meters, and separate it with another comma and put five. I'll put five, separate it with another comma and put six, six. I'll separate, separate it with another comma and put eight. I'll separate it with another comma and put six. Then I'll go ahead and click next. I'll, this, the, this next step will take me to Y axis and I'll go to irregular lengths. I'll click that, then go back to that box and type my lengths on Y axis. On Y axis, I need a six six length. I'll fill that, separate with the comma and type six separate this with a comma and six separate that with a comma six separate with a comma again six whichever lengths you prefer and i'll go ahead and click next from here there's no need just go ahead and click and uh, click finish we have this grid line Of this grid line now on this grid line having created the levels you can place your columns here we'll start with the utmost height which is level 5 where we start will uh, this will just uh, create a limit of our columns if we intend to place our columns on this grid now after clicking on the, the utmost height we'll come down here under this just scroll just scroll down We'll come to, I mean, to columns. We'll come to columns. Now, once you've clicked column, concrete columns, we'll come down to this dialog box here and go straight to the column settings. Just scroll down, scroll down. We'll come to column type just normal and the column class will be able to choose the class of your preference we'll use the c32 stroke 30 which is okay you can use your preferred now from here we'll come to section click on the section once you've clicked on, on the section there's a drop down arrow there click on that and go to new edit edit new and click on that from here, you'll be able to set the the size of your column. It is a, a rectangular for now, a mini square for now, but maybe you want this to be a rectangular. You can change that to 300 millimeter. You can go ahead and click OK. Now, from all these, maybe we need columns along that end. We just highlight like that and bring it to that end and you'll have created your columns. 
not really. Not really. Let's go down, let's go down. Perfect. Now, if you want to set your column sizes and uh, it come under under sections, click new edit. You set the column the, the column size here. Then just go ahead and click OK. So once you've clicked that, you just highlight everything, highlight everything here, because all the columns are the same. If we switch back to our our 3D, we'll, we are not able to see the columns there. We'll switch back to 2D. Perfect. Now I won't take you further. I want just to for you to know how to create the the grids and how to set up the settings for your model. On the next presentation, I'll show you. I'll I'll, I'll show you. I'll go beyond this and uh, show you how to import and export model from Tecla Structure. Export to uh, export from export from Tecla Structure Designer to Tecla Structures, and also to import from Tecla Structure to Tecla Structure Designer for analysis. Remember, Tecla Structure is able to give you all this, give you analysis, and advise you on the on the on the, on the best material to use, the best structure to to be able to withstand certain kinds of loads. It, it will be able to generate you a very, very, uh, a very intensive report on analysis. And uh, you'll be able to do a lot with uh, Tecla Structural Designer. So please keep watching the channel for more tutorials about Tecla Structural Designer and uh, Tecla Structures. Now, I've not gone further about place, placement of the columns because I'm taking this to the next step for this tutorial. See you next time. I'm Morris Dimba. I don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And bye-bye.